Hallelujah. How's everybody doing this morning? I'd like if everyone would please rise to your feet as we give God praise. And while you're doing that, turn to the person next to you and tell them you love them and good morning. We worship the God who was. We worship the God who is. We worship the God who evermore will be. He opened the prison door. He parted the raging sea. My God, He holds the victory. thank you for this morning. We thank you for each and every single person here in this place, Lord God, lifting up your name, worshiping you as one. Hallelujah. There's nothing better, Lord God. I feel your presence in this room. Hallelujah. I thank you for what you're going to do, Lord God. I thank you for the people that you're already touching right now in this place this morning, for moving for your Holy Spirit to be present here, Lord God. Hallelujah. 
I ask that you give us an open ear, Lord God, and an open heart, Lord God, for your message this morning. Let it soak into our souls, Lord. Let it be like the good seed that falls on good soil, Lord God. Hallelujah. We thank you. Amen.
what an honor to be invited to the marriage of the Lamb, to come and worship Him. Celebration, it's the joining of the bride and the Son, the two becoming one. All the prophecies fulfilled in a moment, so we sing like the roar of many waters, like the sound of rolling thunder.
us where we are and where we want to be. God, we want to be in this place where we are getting ready for you. This promise of your second coming. As we get closer and closer to Christmas this year, this beautiful holiday where we celebrate your first coming, God himself made flesh, God incarnate, God with us. And Lord, you did so much on that first arrival, on that first coming. You bought us back. You made a way for us to be completely reunited with you in relationship and closeness. But God, when you ascended, you told us and you promised us that we should look ahead, that we should look forward to the day with anticipation and hope that you will come back. This day that is coming sooner than we could even imagine, where all things will be made completely new, where there won't be any room for evil or destruction or hurt, damage anymore. No, this is gonna be a time when we are completely like you, when we are completely transformed. And for the very first time, we will truly know what it is to be known and loved by you. So God, that's where we wanna be right now, just getting ready, preparing for that day. And as we get ready to listen to the sermon, help us to hear these truths and not just to hear them, but then to apply it to our lives and to how we live, what we do, so that day by day by day, we can become more like you, Jesus preparing ourselves for the king, for the bridegroom. God, we love you and we give you this time in Jesus' name. Amen. You can have a seat. Would you stand with me? Be thou my
Let's sing that chorus just one last time. High King of Heaven. I'm going to back away from the mic. Let's just let our voices go up to our King like a choir. High King of vision. We need you to be the goal that we look towards. God, this world is um, constantly doing all it can to distract us and to draw our hearts and our minds and so much of our focus away from you. But God, we want to be people who are marked and known as those who are set apart for you, as those who are setting our eyes, setting our very vision on who you are. So Holy Spirit, will you revive us? Will you renew us? And I pray for every person in this room and every person watching online right now that you would do things this week to surprise us. They will break us out of our expectations and our distractions and just remind us that you are right there, that you are so close and you are calling us to something more worthwhile, more alive, more true. That's what we want, Jesus. Have us be with you, God. Let's just one more time sing the verse for one, be thou my vision. It's beautiful for me to sit up here and just listen to your voices. So I want to do it one more time. Be thou my joining us in worship this week. We'll see you guys later.